Hello again. So last time we learned how to search for images um, on the Docker registry. We mentioned that we use Docker search and then provide the image name. Let's do this again. Docker search. I'm sorry, Docker search. Uh, we search for Zookeeper. If we look at the results, you can find that it gives us a name, description, and if we scroll to the right, it gives us stars. So the stars tell us how popular that image is, right? How popular that image is. Um, so again, let's recap quickly. Let's scroll back to the left. Let's recap. Let me just minimize this. So we mentioned before, if we want to list the Docker image that we have, images that we have, we do Docker image, Docker images, uh, and we always remember the difference between Docker image and uh, container. That the image is like a class, the container is like an instance, and when we run something, we're actually running the container, not the image, but we can save a container as an image if we make any additions, if we add new layers, install new programs, maybe add files, remove files to some configurations, we can save that as an image, we'll come to that in the coming video. So, just to recap, docker ps, nothing is running, docker ps minus a, um, these are the ones that we ran before, uh, we can display the queue only, uh, I'm sorry, the, 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 uh, the container ID only, so these are the containers that we ran before, um, we can display the, the ID only, what else, we can remove uh, a container, we can remove an image, but we'll come to that in the coming videos. Um, one interesting thing that we can do here is we can actually download or pull down an image from the from the from Docker Hub or from the uh, the the registry that we have, either Docker Hub or the one you know we create on our own. Uh, by default, Docker uh, downloads stuff from from Docker Hub. So to do this, we can do Docker pull, right? If you remember, in the very beginning, we after we installed Docker and uh, we uh, ran the um, the BusyBox container, if you remember, it was checking for the container whether it's whether it exists locally in the machine or not, and it didn't find it. So what it did is it was downloading or pulling down stuff from Docker Hub. If you remember, yeah. So that what it does, Docker run what it does if the uh, container is not in our local uh, machine, it pulls it down. So it does a Docker pull implicitly, it pulls it down from the, from the from Docker Hub, right? This is exactly what happens when we do Docker run. So to pull down an image, we can do like Docker pull. Uh, let's take an example one called um, day. I'm sorry, day Docker pull Debian Jesse. Um, so it will start downloading and you will notice that it actually downloads several layers. So we mentioned before that images are made up of several layers or several programs or files or stuff like that. We call them, they're called layers uh, in Docker. And it will download all the necessary layers. In this example, uh, the colon GC indicates, you know, which exact exa exact version of, of Debian we want to download, right? So, um, we do Debian that exists in the Docker root uh, uh, namespace, and then colon Jesse. We specify the exact uh, version that we want, or the exact uh, uh, um, sort of uh, uh, yeah, the version that we want. And notice now we have an ID. So download a newer image for the Debian Jesse. Yes, very good. That's not an ID, by the way. That's just the uh, the 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 digest, I think. Yeah. Uh, another interesting thing about images is that images can have tags, and these tags, you know, they define image variants. So when we do, for example, docker pull Ubuntu, this refers to Ubuntu colon latest, so the latest version of Ubuntu, as we did here. If we do uh, Debian, it will download the latest, and if we do Jesse, then it, we specify the tag or the name Jesse, and it'll download that specific version, yeah? Um, and if we do like, for example, docker pull Ubuntu, as we mentioned, then that will refer to Ubuntu colon latest, and uh, the colon latest tag can be basically updated frequently. So when we do updates, we can actually update that. And when we use images, just a um, you know, piece of advice, a uh, rule of thumb, we need to always be specific. We need to always be specific when we uh, use images. So let's stop here. Uh, we've done, hopefully, 
uh, a decent piece of work with the Docker, with Docker images. And now we know the difference between a Docker image and a Docker container. We know how to download or pull down images. We know how to list them. We know how to uh, display the, the running the currently running Docker containers or the ones that we run and stopped before and stuff like that. So hopefully, uh, with a little bit of hands-on experience, we're becoming more and more familiar with Docker. So let's stop here, and uh, we'll continue next time by starting to build our own images. Thank you.